I'm not one to brag very often, but I do think I've got a pretty darn good forehand drive. And today I'm gonna to teach you the three key movements so that you can make a weapon out of your forehand as well. Something that I'm a really big believer in, especially when you're trying to learn a new skill that's pretty difficult, is using what I call progressions. The idea behind a progression is we're gonna take a complex movement and we're gonna break it down into its simplest pieces. We're gonna master each one of those pieces and then we're gonna build it back up until we've got the whole thing mastered. So the forehand progression for this video is gonna look something like this. First, we're gonna break down the swing into three simple movements that anybody can practice and master. Second, we're gonna to learn to combine those movements and turn it into one smooth swing. Third, we're gonna add a ball and use that new swing to hit off of a controlled drop feed. Fourth, we're gonna use a ball machine or a wall to practice our new forehand in a controlled environment. And last, we're gonna be ready to take it to the courts and put it into play. Before we get into the specifics, while we're on the subject of ball machines, I wanna talk quickly about my spin shot ball machine that I've been using lately. If you are in the market for a ball machine, this is the one to get. All drills are completely customizable with an app on your phone. If you're interested, make sure you check out the link in the description below to learn more. Or if you do wanna order through that link, you will get free shipping and a free cover through my link. Okay, let's get into the specifics of the forehand. So you're gonna grab your paddle and you're gonna mirror these movements that I'm showing you. A couple important things to note here. I'm standing square to the court with my elbow away from my body and my paddle pointed down at about a 45 degree angle. From the side view, you can see that my paddle face is square and I'm holding the paddle just in front of my body. Now that we got that set, here's the movements. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our elbow and slide it over in front of our body. Next, we're gonna use the wrist to roll the paddle from below the hand to above the hand. And then step three is to bend the elbow and reach the paddle back up over your shoulder. Okay, so here it is again. You can watch all the way through the movements. When you're doing this, really try to isolate each movement. We just want to focus on the one specific movement and not let anything else in our body change as we go through these three steps. So you're just gonna keep practicing these until you feel pretty comfortable with each movement. Because for step two of this process, we're gonna take these three movements and we're gonna try to combine them all together and turn them into one fluid movement. It's a pretty simple concept here, but lots of reps is really gonna help you smooth this out and get it feeling pretty natural. Also at this stage, make sure you're keeping a close eye on your movements and make sure they're staying pretty true to what I'm showing you here. Sometimes it can help to even video yourself or do this in front of a mirror. Okay, for step three, we're gonna add the ball back into the mix and actually start getting some hits in here. Just like before when we were practicing the swing, the details are very important here. You can see on the screen that I've drawn a dotted line which extends out from my outside foot, which is my right foot. My goal is to get that ball to drop right on that imaginary line. Once we've got that drop right, then it's just a matter of taking that swing we've practiced hopefully hundreds of times and putting it on the ball. I wanna take a quick second here to point out a super common mistake, probably the biggest mistake I see when people are hitting this shot, and that is this elbow flaring out. You can see my right elbow flare and my paddle flip over. And that is a movement that we definitely don't wanna feel when we're trying to do this. Okay, we're getting closer to our goal. Here we are, step four. This is where we're gonna use a ball machine or a wall, basically some sort of controlled environment. And we're gonna try to get this swing to feel comfortable in a little bit more of a live ball setting. So I want you to just watch now for a few shots. See if you can pick out those good swings from the bad swings. <laughs> 
One thing I want you to keep in mind when you're doing these progressions is if you lose a little bit of a feel for what you're doing, remember you can always go back a step and work on those simpler concepts. After you feel like you have this down pretty good, this is where you can add your own style to it. So you can see me on screen doing some slightly different take backs. Sometimes my elbow's higher, sometimes it's lower, sometimes the take back's bigger, sometimes it's smaller. Those are all, I think, personal preference. And you can kind of work that stuff out once you've mastered the fundamental aspects of the swing. Okay, now for the fun part. Step five, we get to take this new top spin drive that we developed to our weekly games and start kicking some butt with it. So now that you have this shot in your arsenal, in a future video, we're gonna talk specifics on when you should be using it, specifically on the third shot. When to drop, when to use that drive. I did my best to cover everything, but please let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.